Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to CFNL Channel. This is a special news briefing here. This morning, um, I put all these together. These are the last probably three weeks, maybe a little bit more, of plasma bursts from Ken. It's about um, it's the beginning of July and then the beginning of September. And so you, I'm going to show you these different plasma bursts today. Is everybody doing okay? Um, I want you to pray if you pray because this is kind of some scary stuff. It's about 30 minutes. Um, share this. Boom. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze frame it some of them. And you'll see it stop. And I want you to be able to, you know, look at it, take a screenshot, share it on Facebook. I don't care. Whatever you guys want to do, you know, it's your channel. We're doing this thing together, watching the end times. So keep watching. I'm going to put some good music up. And then I got a little special thing at the end if I can locate it. So I'll be back. Welcome, 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 everybody. Grab a coffee. You're going to need it on this video. Or some Popeye's chicken. <laughs> Bam! Okay, folks, so you're starting to get it now. I'm just showing you plasma bursts. Now, there's a little UFO that cruises right through here. Some of these UFOs are hard to see, but this is a mothership. Now, this little thing up here looks like a UFO right under the Valarta. There's two of them. Then all of a sudden, you'll see. Looks like a mothership in a minute. <laughs> see, now, a freeze frame right there. Now, look at that. Bam. Now plasma, real thick plasma, I got a couple shots with some real thick plasma. From what I understand from Dr. Albert, Claudia Albers, is the plasma won't come to the ground, it will go back and forth from the stellar core of the planet, or the two stellar cores, back and forth. And I think I caught that on here, so anybody knows uh, Dr. Albers, tell her that I might have a capture she might want to look at. Now this is a really bright Bucatina looking bright bluish white strike. I love these because they just take the whole sky over. These I don't understand if the planet's yellow and green or if it's just the EMI. But they're pretty trippy, aren't they? I mean, I've had them in reddish yellow. See, so when I freeze it, it just keeps going right back to the regular clip. This is all live. Real-time capture, not tampered with there's no filters on them um, it's pretty much what what we've seen on the camera this is not lens problems at all we've been doing this for over two years now and we're actually getting very interesting these captures so keep on watching I'm gonna find something a little bit more exciting for music all right maybe find my sax player my saxophone player play you some sax I like that one right there what in the world see the angle on it a little corner angle. <laughs> Keep watching. I'll be back.
Well, pretty amazing looking so far, right? Okay, get ready. You made it to the middle mark of the video. That means you have an intermission coming for a cup of coffee or a tea. And if I was there, people, I'd buy you chicken. You know I'd buy Popeye chicken in a heartbeat. So anyways, hey, there's more plasma to come. Um, I'm going to keep freeze framing and I'm going to point a couple things out. So meet some people in the chat room. Um, join me on Facebook. See for an all channel on Facebook, guys. I do updates. I do video clips that I don't do here. I do lots of pictures of raw footage, of filtered footage, still shots. So, and all that stuff you guys could use off of my Facebook. It's all shareable. Anyways, got your tea. You ready? Let's go deeper. All right. And I got a little update um, newsletter I'm going to read at the end of this thing. So stick around. God, Jesus. Stop the camera, okay. Stop the video, stop the sound, stop everything. Check this thing out, people. Now, you tell me. It's not just lightning. You tell me, what is it? Come on, let me show you a little closer. Go deeper. Go deeper, deep called unto deep. The truth must be revealed here. What is going on, folks? What is going on? Shut up and sit down. Come on, man, come on, it's time to get up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake
Hello, people. I'm still here. Okay. I'm going to learn how to live for hundreds of years, right? Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to read some of this article. So in, in Proverbs 9.11 says, To me your days will increase, and your years will be added to your life. Okay, guys? You see what it's saying there? Nibiru expert, after shift in magnetic poles, people will live for hundreds of years. So see that? <clears throat> what I'm showing you there? Um... People are reporting they're seeing the uh, aurora as far down as Chicago, Illinois. And a couple reports in Kansas, but, you know, I don't know how legit they are. They're on the Internet. Everything ain't a hoax, you know. So the United States government recently released a report showing that the magnetic North Pole is shifting far more quickly than previously thought, indicating something strange is happening deep beneath the Earth's crust. The world magnetic model governing modern navigation systems recently underwent an unscheduled update. This update delayed because of the U.S. government shutdown is a vital component of almost every navigational system in use today. The current model set up is 2015 was expected to remain valid until 2020, but the magnetic pole is shifting so quickly. It's moving people. The government's telling us this. Now this is an expert. The magnetic pole is mostly the result of furious fluids moving around in the Earth's core. In the last 30 years, the rate of distance that the magnetic North Pole moves per sped up from about 9.3 miles per year to about 34 miles per year. Moving out of northern Canada across the Antarctic Ocean and towards Siberia. Siberia is cold, people. Think about that. I'll be in some frozen tundra in California. will be part of a... You know, part of Russia's landscape. Wow. So go down. Scientists would agree that large astronomical bodies would create a disturbance in a magnetic field. People are feeling the dizziness and the weirdness and the tiredness and like you're in a dream. So a star of that size would necessarily have its own magnetic field and that would exert an influence on the furious fluids. So people, <clears throat> this is really happening. <coughs> Okay, so we go on. Magnetic pole naturally moves and every has even been known to shift hemispheres, turning the magnetic north pole into the magnetic south pole. As the poles shift, the magnetic field weakens. Scientists do not entirely understand the process behind these shifts, but they previously thought such a dramatic movement required several centuries. A recent study of fossilized magnetization, magnetic citation, and rocks indicate a geomagnetic reversal that took place fewer than 100,000 years ago. They, the study concluded that a complete flip of magnetic poles happened over a course of 144 years. <laughs> the last complete geomagnetic reversal occurred 780,000 years ago. Modern geomagnetic... See, they're, they're telling you whatever they want to tell you. But we're actually, I think, seeing it happen in front of our eyes, people. So it goes on. So in the, the, going on the bottom there, the, the Midrash states that God indicated the flood in the times of Noah by moving two stars. So Vera explained, this caused a shift in the poles of the world. The north came south, dry land became oceans, oceans dried up. Nibiru shifted the magnetic poles back to what they were before Noah. As a result, people lived much longer for hundreds of years as it was described in the Bible before Noah. So anyways, that's what's happening. So he's, he's saying, you know, your years will be increased, right? Like the days of Noah. So Veda stated that the messianic process bringing about the pre-Diluvian uh, reality is described in awe-inspiring, even fearsome terms in the Bible, but the results will be quite utopian. Scientists in Western culture depict, depict, depict earlier eras as much worse Oveda said, they try to make people believe that technology is the answer to everything. That more technology means a better life. Messiah is the future. Hopefully, the very near future. But it will have many elements of bi biblical times that will be vast improvements over what we have now. No wars, no disease, no famine, and, that, and nature will be revived. So they are trying to sell the public on global warming, claiming the scientists can fix it by controlling the climate, Oveda said. They don't really understand climate change, and they certainly can't control the weather. 
but they want to talk about magnetic shift because they can't control it and what they know about is turning out to be wrong so that's what I got for you people right there anyways check it out scientists confirmed that the magnetic pole shift is happening and that it will have a major impact on the planet researchers estimated that the planet's magnetic field has already lost 30 percent of its intensity in the last 3,000 years and predicted it will drop to near zero in the next few centuries I said the next few months what are you talking about um, so you know they're trying to direct you to it's, it's far off don't worry about it nobody's gonna die so it says the shift polarity in the planet may also be be behind outbreaks of migrating birds becoming confused and dying we're seeing that we're seeing it the reduction of planets many feel may have another alarming implication than merely inconveniencing navigation the magnetic field shields the Earth from most of its harmful radiation and particles emitted from the Sun. Leon Dark quoted Daniel Baker, Director of Laboratory Atmospheric and Space Physics of the University of Colorado, who is one of the world's experts in how cosmic radiation affects the Earth. Baker expressed fears that parts of the planet, the planet will become uninhabitable during such a magnetic reversal. The danger could include de devastating streams of particles from sun, galactic cosmic rays, and enhanced ultraviolet B rays from a radiation damaged ozone layer, to name just a few. Now, people, I did have two visions of running around in the last apocalyptic days and our skin literally melting off of us. And it was a scary vision. It was a vision, not a dream. So it goes on, indeed, shortly after the first geomagnetic polarity time, scales were produced. Scales were produced. Scientists began exploring the possibility that re reversals could be linked to extinction based on hypothesis that high energy particles trapped in the Van Allen radiation belt could be liberated and bombard the Earth. Tests of correlations between extinctions reversals are difficult. Goes on. Anyways, it goes on talking about it and atheistic views. Um, the appearance of the aurora borealis will be very clear they come more way more south and that's what we're looking for right now is an indication that we're shifting faster so that's about it on that guys you know it's what it is right